I think the fact that the festival is it's homegrown, it's all about Herefordshire talent. It's celebrating Herefordshire writers, actors, it's using the building here at the courtyard um, to really showcase the, the creative abilities of the county. Um, and it's, it's got so many people involved with it as well. It's just been really exciting to be part of it. I'm personally very hopeful that the Writer on Festival will attract a diverse audience consisting of all kinds of different people. I'm very keen myself to promote both writing, performing and coming to see performance to people who don't traditionally go to the theatre. I'm hoping that this play will be entertaining as well as stimulating and that will attract uh, an audience which partly consists of people who wouldn't normally come to the courtyard. When she came, everything went down the pan. The garden was all right before that. Things grew like they're supposed to do. Pinky used to bring us food, but apart from that, he left us alone. I'm absolutely um, thrilled with the way the festival's been going, but also um, I didn't, I didn't realise the enormity of the commitment I'm take, I've taken on. So I'm quite amazed that I've actually managed to, so far, do everything that I've been asked to do. My name is Susan French. I was a member of the uh, stage writing class. We decided to have a write on festival. I wrote this play as part of it. Susan has written a very, very good play. And it was just when, when we initially did the read through, just getting an idea of the characters and really finding the, the heart of it, of the piece. And working with Chris, the director as well, he's been absolutely fantastic in letting us really find our characters and letting the process all happen and just moulding, rather than laying down strict guidelines, just moulding the process. We have got some of the finest talent here in directors and writers and people who've worked on big movies and all sorts of things. They all live in this area. And if they come and they see the, the, the work of these writers and they see the young people who are acting in them, you never know what can happen. You never know who's watching. I think it should be encouraging for people to see contemporaries or people they know put on their work and have it produced. Um, in the, in the theatre here and you know some people write away and never think it's going to go anywhere um, so to have that encouragement and to have the backing of a, of a place like the courtyard I think will be really encouraging for other writers as well hopefully. I'm afraid not. Not gone tomorrow. No, or the next day. I don't understand. I've come to take up an appointment. An appointment? An appointment? Again. I think so. I think the courtyard is a fantastic facility. I think it's very underused, especially for drama and new writing. Um, and there's a lot of um, I don't know, tribute bands and, and stand-up comedians, which I guess brings revenue in. And drama is a bit of a, a, um, a bit of a chancy thing for, for maybe a, a theatre like this in, in Hereford. But uh, I think it needs it. I think. Um, I think drama is, is, I mean, we have the best theatre probably in the world in Britain, and I think uh, we need this sort of thing to carry on and more of it. Well, if you missed this festival and you were hoping to come along, I think it'd be a good idea to, to read what's read about it, look what's been filmed perhaps about it, or see what other people have said about it, um, and uh, it might inspire you to make sure you don't miss out next time. <laughs>